What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to Seed World Production. That is a wrap on Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad, has officially wrapped filming as of today. James Gunn took to his social media to confirm it and to announce that the film is completely done filming. Now it goes into the long haul of post-production. That's crazy when you really think about it. They completely stopped complete filming in March of this year. The film doesn't come out until August of next year. That just lets you know how long these comic book movies have to go into post-production to do all the editing, the mixing, the CGI, the score, the reshoots. It's pretty insane. But I, I, I'm very excited for The Suicide Squad. Um, I love James Gunn. This film is directed and written by James Gunn. I love his work on the, you know, the first two Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And it this film looks like it is a passion project for him. I know he does a lot of Q&As on his IG. And he just says like he's never had so much fun filming a movie, a movie of this caliber before. Yeah, I know he's done Guardians 1 and 2. But the Suicide Squad is, is, is very different than the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it has a, you know, a huge ensemble, a cast uh, of outsiders. But this is of the world of the DCU, the DC Comics. And obviously, James Gunn has been a fan of, of these characters for quite some time. He's a huge comic book nerd, so he's read plenty of, plenty of Suicide Squad comic books over the course of his lifetime. Um, and to see him really take control and do a film of, uh, of, his, of his liking. They actually confirmed that he was offered another another comic book movie in the DC world to direct, but he opted out to do The Suicide Squad, which I, I find pretty interesting. But I'm hyped for this movie, you guys. I'm really, really excited for what James Gunn has in store for us when The Suicide Squad movie actually comes out. The release date is August 6th of 2021, coming out a huge juggernaut year for comic book movies. It is going to be insane. Like I said, this is written directed by James Gunn. Returning characters for the film that we know so far is Margot Robbie, obviously, as Harley Quinn. You have uh, Joe Killerman as Rick Flagg. You have Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang. And then you have Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. As in the new cast. When, they, when he dropped that official casting, I was like, holy shit. This movie is going to be loaded. This ensemble is massive, and I love it. But he also kept saying, don't get too attached. Don't get too attached. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. This is the Suicide Squad. A lot of people will die in this film. And I like the fact that I think this film is going to be set outside of the U.S. And I'm like, that's how the film should have been. Not like in the first film. It took place like in New York and Gotham or some shit like that. That didn't really make sense. And, you know, I was like, well, where are the, you know, the Justice League and things of that nature? It just really didn't make sense to me. Um... But I like the fact that they're going for more of the traditional comic book route for the storyline. Um, and far like the new cast, this is just some of them. You have Taika Waititi who's going to be making an appearance. No idea who he's going to be playing. Idris Elba. You have John Cena. He's rumored to be playing the Peacemaker. You have uh, Nathaniel Fillion. No idea who he's playing. Pete Davidson. Michael Rooker. Uh, Steve Age is rumored to play King Shark. This is pretty big. Like, the cast is massive, you guys. King Shark, like, I know James Gunn is doing, he's going to do King Shark justice. I have always stated this. In the first Suicide Squad film, I hated Killer Croc. But I appreciated what they tried to do. They tried to do the practical effects. And they tried to do more of the earlier run of Killer Croc. It just didn't necessarily fit well for a live action adaptation of the character. You and, and you really think about it, you look at Batman and the DCU and what he was able what he was able to do physically wise, he was just a brute force. There's no way in hell that this small ass killer croc with you know T-Rex arms would do anything to Ben Affleck's Batman, the best live action Batman we've seen. It just it just it wouldn't happen. Um, but I have a feeling, you know, <clears throat> Whoever's playing King Shark, you know, if Steve, if Steve <clears throat> Age is playing King Shark, he's going to be in a mocap suit and he's going to be CGI. And I like that, you know, that they're taking it a little bit more serious and not doing the whole practical effects. Because when practical effects are cool, don't get me wrong, I love practical effects, but only do it when it's needed. When you have characters like huge and massive, don't try to do practical effects. It's not going to look right. For instance, Thanos in the first Avengers movie was practical effects. Thank God they decided to completely go a different route 
and cast a different uh, different actor, Josh Brolin, for the role and put him in a motion, motion capture performance suit and CGI the character. He is massive. He's overbearing. He's intimidating. Don't have somebody, you know, small play the role. One, For instance, one role that I thought they really fucked up on was in X-Men Apocalypse. Apocalypse. What the fuck? Like, he was tiny. Oscar Isaac? Why was he in a practical suit? No. They, they totally got that wrong. And it, and it and the film paid the price. It really did. So I'm really hoping that, you know, James Gunn goes that route of having him in, you know, the, the mocap suit and CGI to make him huge and scary. The shark, I'm actually afraid of sharks. My black ass will not get in the water ever, ever, ever. If humans were meant to get in the water, we've had gills, but we don't have gills. That's why my black ass don't get in the water. Um, but I'm hyped, you guys. Like I said, the ensemble, the cast, James Gunn, the possible R rating, this film can do a lot of good damage. And I like the fact, like the set photos that we got leaked, like look at the costumes, the costumes look great. The costumes look OG. It looks like James Gunn is having a great time with this. He's like, okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna keep it traditional, we're gonna keep it OG, and this is, what kind of, this is the style of costumes we're gonna have in this film. And I like the fact that, you know, it feels like more of the original Suicide Squad look when you see these, these leaked photos, it really looks spot on and fantastic. Uh, but I'm hyped. I'm hyped. And I, I, I still hope to see Deadshot. I, I really enjoyed Will Smith as Deadshot in the first Suicide Squad film. You know, there were some cool elements of the, the first Suicide Squad films. A lot, of, a lot of cool parts, like especially when Deadshot appeared and he was capping people. Like it, those shits, fantastic. Great moments. But the film as a whole just fell flat for me. But I'm really hoping to see this film really succeed. Suicide Squad wasn't a bomb at the box office. It made, I think, what, like $800 million. So it did great. And I expect this Suicide Squad film to really push the push the boundaries and get to at least at least close to where that that um, that number range is. Um, but I'm hyped. Suicide Squad is the Suicide Squad is the next DCEU film coming out, and I can't wait to see what James Gunn has in store. And I, it's just crazy when you think about Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey came out this year. Um, I personally didn't really like it. It wasn't for me. It underperformed at the box office. I can I don't even think it's crossed two hundred million dollars yet. That is terrible. Sonic already crossed two hundred million dollars, and he came out a week after. I don't know what went wrong, but I highly doubt we will be getting any sequel with the Birds of Prey, and I'm fine with that because it just wasn't for me. But y'all, I'm hyped for the Suicide Squad. It is officially rap production. I cannot wait to see the official trailer. Hopefully, we'll get it at comic-con this year it's gonna be a lot of fun you know warner brothers always shows up at comic-con do they no they didn't show up last year yeah they did oh, hold on hold on hold on hold on i don't think warner brothers showed up last year but when they do they they they, they bring the ball and I, I and i can't wait to see what they have to show for this film but post your comments down below guys let me know what you guys think about the suicide squad officially rapping production and what are you most most looking forward to in the film post your comments down below you guys and thank you for taking time today for watching serial productions peace